Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. And Specific Pixel. And welcome back to another episode of Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII. VII. <laughs> the original, anyway. <laughs> and uh, last time, Bugenhagen hopped on board the High Wind. Yeah. So now we are taking him to see the ancient city. The place where Aerith died, unfortunately. Where we, where we lost sweet Jolene. Not Jolene. Oh, remember you can. We found out you can actually oh, land. That's back right. There. I don't have to go through the village. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the few places that has a different color and texture. Where you can just land right down there. And into the city we go. So yeah, we're gonna go shed a little bit of light on exactly why Jolene came here and what she was doing. Will it shed some light on why this place looks like it was underwater at some point? Possibly. I hope so. And we'll also learn why Sephiroth found it important to stop her. Hmm. God, I wish you could name Sephiroth in this game like you can all the other characters. <laughs> could you, you know imagine? we would just name him something really inappropriate, though. Oh, yeah, like Jefferoth. <laughs> I was thinking something a little uh, worse, but okay. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it, I'm sure. Fish. Fish. Yes, the terrible, horrible Jeff. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Well, you're in the right location, but we need to do some other stuff first. Oh. So he is with you. He's on the high Eesh. wind. Um, so uh, you need to go to the left path. Whoops. I think first. You do have to come here, but I believe that you have to go out and go to the left before we come here. Oh, well. Yeah, I think we have to trigger something before we go up that way. Because remember, it was the same the first time that we came here um, with the party when uh, you were able to explore that and it had the fish display and you couldn't go downstairs until we'd done some other stuff. Oh, no. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I kind of did, too. Listen, it's been a bit. I mean, yeah, it's been some time since we've been here. Jolene's been gone for a while. Unfortunately. I remember her every day. So yeah, I think that we need to go, like, in there, maybe, or... Somewhere around uh... here. There's a save point, anyway. Mm... Maybe it was on the other side, the right-hand side? Uh, I, maybe we're not far enough in the back. Because, see, it's the little stuff like this... Um, in uh, in these kinds of games where like I'm familiar with my goal and I'll forget some of the in between steps every time because I know what I'm heading towards. There oh, we go. There we go. There okay. we go. This is <clears throat> mm. Yes, exactly. It's me, Bugenhagen. Oi. Are you getting something? A cold? <laughs> something I haven't gotten in fifty years. Mmm <laughs> You stop that. Give me a moment. I th you think you have control. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, he said, "Give me a moment." I was he gonna, did. I was gonna stand right there. Boy, I wish I could just float around. Right, and make navigating this place a lot easier. Mm, ah, there we go. You got it. Around. Game. Yep, loop the loop. <laughs> Where do you want me to go, game? You gotta catch up with your favorite character, Bugenhagen. Okay, so what's this? The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. What's that? The planet's in a crisis. Well, we knew that. This is at the core of it all. A crisis core, you might say. Boy. I'm sure that something happened before the crisis, too. <laughs> it says when the time comes, we must search for holy. Holy. Holy? Holy. Holy crap. <laughs> the ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. Perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. 
If a soul seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. <laughs> Media, weapon, everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Oh, I don't like that. Klaus like, uh I don't I don't care for those odds. That's up to the planet to decide. I hope you've been treating it well. <laughs> What's best for the planet? What's bad for the planet? Check out this freaky camera angle. It looks like I just got huge. <laughs> Everything that's bad will disappear. That's all. <laughs> oh, I wonder which we humans are. Maybe it'll be selective in the humans it destroys. <laughs> I'm sure that it's going to be fine. So, search for Holy. How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then, speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to glow a very recognizable and trademarked pale green. <laughs> uh, well... Mm. We're screwed. Yep. Jolene had the white materia. Now notice he just drew that... Uh, yeah, he just drew that conclusion. Yeah, like that kind of... I feel like it takes the wind out of the sails of the... Uh, the reveal a little bit. Because she... One time and one time only she mentions how she has her mother's materia. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, and you see it in the cutscene. And it is a very pale green. Yes, so... When Jolene died, it fell from the altar. That's why this is the end. <laughs> Say something or don't, old man. <laughs> Look at this. Cuss, maybe. <laughs> Minor cuss. Ancients writing. Can you read it? <laughs> it's all Greek to me. So Greece is a thing that exists in this world. No, notice I used a lowercase g. <laughs> I'm quoting the idiom without any context from the world in which Greece originates. Also, Texas is here. <laughs> this is no time for jokes, old man. I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. There's something written in chalk. Even sunlight can't reach... Key? It was probably written by a scientist who had been here. He must have used all his energy just to interpret these words. Key to what? I don't know. It probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle. It must have something to do with Jolene. 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 So this note points to where the key is? Probably. <laughs> Use these words as clues and go find the key. I'm speaking to you, the player, directly now. That's why I got so close to the screen. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> See, we're all on the same page here. I'll continue to figure out the ancient's writing. I'm going to hang out here for a while while you do that. A place even sunlight won't reach is where the key is, right? When you find the key, I can't go any further. Come back here. Maybe I'll understand more from the writing and get some new information for you. Mm. That's right. right. You, the player, if <laughs> you're stuck, come talk to me, your favorite character, Bugenhagen. Nah, I'm Cause, leaving. Because I died. So, where sunlight can't reach. So, of course, that could only be a few places, right? Like, you know... It implies uh, underwater, underground, somewhere dark. Right. Is it weird that the first place I thought was Midgar? 
Uh, I mean, no, not not really. Considering that it's always dark there. I mean, even the, the overmap goes dark when you head that way. So, no, I think that that's a very sensible thought to have. Oh, yay! Well, it's not where the game's going to send you. Oh, but... boo. <laughs> well, cuss, where do I go then? So... Um, uh, where... This is the game's way of saying, right, like, some somewhere that even sunlight can't reach. Right, right. Okay? So... And the game just gave you a brand new vehicle that yeah. you've not really had a lot of cause to use yet. So it must be underwater somewhere. Right, they want you to use the submarine. Also, the white materia fell into the water in the mm -hmm. cutscene, so I guess that's also kind of a clue -ish. Exactly. Yeah, no, in a way, actually, yes. Yeah. So... I would interpret it like that. Where did that. I leave my sub? Over I here. believe you parked by Junon. Yeah. Okay, so. Ooh. Is it in a specific location? Because if I'm going to yes. have to. Okay, good. I was about to say, because if I have to look around for it, uh, I will probably end up running into Emerald Weapon, and I don't want to fight that right now. <laughs> okay, so where am I headed? Okay, so first things first, go ahead and descend. Very scared to now, go underwater. Now, if you see Emerald Weapon, just hit the Ascend button to surface, okay? Right. Because, like I said, it tends to stay in this area, right? Yeah. Um, but if you Ascend, uh, it causes it to respawn somewhere else because its location is determined every time that you submerge. Mm. Okay. There it was, I think. No, that was Gion. Was that the underwater reactor? Yeah, but I did see it. Okay. So yeah, you should be able to swim away from it, but if you feel stuck or can't get to it, uh, or, or like can't get away from it rather, um, then just ascend. Okay. Just, just surface and you'll be fine. Sure. And then when you go back down, it will reset its location. Okay, so first thing that you're going to be looking for... Hmm. I ran out of places to go. <laughs> Head down to the south. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Kind of start around here-ish. You're going to want to submerge. And uh, check out the seafloor, because remember, we never did explore and find uh, the submarine that you sank. Oh, hey, no. That's right. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. I think this is over here is towards Juno. Yep. Okay, yeah, there's the there's reactor. There's the underwater reactor. Is it over here, maybe? Yeah, I think it's it's going to be like kind of over towards the western side of the ocean a little bit. Yeah. That's okay. Just go around it. And if he starts to come towards you, you know, like I said, just surface. God, I'm so dense every time we come down here. It's fine, it's fine. Just take in the beauty. Oh, there you go. There she blows. Up, I guess. <laughs> so this is the leader sub. Oh, hey, there's those guys again. Yes, I told you. They just live here now. <laughs> I was not joking. Damn it. Makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge materia recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Nice. That's good to hear. Ta-da! Awesome. Now you have the last of the huge materia. I guess... Should I take that back to Cosmo Canyon? At some point, yes. So, like, the next time that you um, have, uh, you know, a, a few minutes to get on the high wind and go over there, you can. But it's not urgent. You don't have to rush it over there. Anything in this huge crater here? No, um, hmm. that I think is where Sapphire Weapon has supposedly died. Or, no, no, actually, I think that might be where Sapphire Weapon landed mm. when it came out of the North Crater. Okay. Maybe. All right, so over there, yeah. You're going to oh. want to look for a passage over here on the western side. Ta-da. Uh, that... There's the sunken Galnica. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really look like there's... No, that's not passage, uh, so... Yeah, but keep an eye out. You remember that cave that you found before, right? Yeah, yeah. 
that went into um, Lucretia's cave. Yeah. You're looking for something kind of like that. Okay. It's over here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, please, Emerald Weapon. Just be sleeping somewhere. You're going to head kind of northwards. There's going to be a sort of a narrow passage. I think that might be it. Uh, okay. Okay. There you go. Keep following it. Just head that way. You're in the right spot. An emerald weapon shouldn't be here. It doesn't really look like anything's around here. Look. Yep. Yeah, turn the camera the other uh... way, I think. There you oh, go. Oh! Uh-huh. Oh, ho. Okay. There you are. Very well hidden. What is that? Hey, do you, do you think it's... Analysis completed. Exact date of origin undetermined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. The key of the ancients. Oh, well. Well, all right then. Those are all of the clues that the game gives you, is that, you know, it's, it's related to the ancient city, so it should be somewhere close by. And then, uh, between having just gotten the sub, that clue of somewhere even sunlight can't reach, uh, and, like you said, the white materia falling down into the water, you put all that together, and there you go, the key of the ancients. So now... Not to mention that everything in the city of the ancients looks very much like it's supposed to be underwater. Very much so, yes. That also, I think that's another clue, and to me, that is part of what you were talking about. Like, why does it look that way? Um, I mean, there, the key being down there is not why the city looks that way, but the fact that it is kind of coral reef themed is another clue. They took advantage of that um, when they decided where they were going to hide the key of the ancients. Hmm. And unfortunately, I've got to come all the way back here to get out of the sub, because there wasn't a bay over there. Yup. Alright, back the other way. Alright, now just head straight back over there and go take the key to Bugenhagen. <sighs> I'm glad that that didn't last very long. <laughs> no, it's fairly simple. Now, of course, it's fairly simple because we know where it's at. I mean, yeah... If you had to scour the entire map for it, um, as I did the first time, <laughs> you know, um, it, it's it can be a much longer search. Yeah, but I feel like I'm getting off kind of light. <laughs> in a way, yeah, because I, I there's only so many interesting things to be found down there underwater. And so, uh, you know, I, I don't want you to just wander around aimlessly taking in the sights and not getting rewarded for it. So we'll just cut through that part. Well, Key of the Ancients, get. Oh, you found it! Oh, that music box over there. We'll put the key in it. I'll go use the key. You all wait here. And watch closely what happens. This is actually kind of neat. I really like this uh, system. <laughs> Okay, that's a really cool locking mechanism. Right. The way that it turns and flips the crystals in and out to make the specific musical notes. Oh, there we go. Uh, Causes water to come pouring in. Presumably there was a <laughs> there, but... Now, go inside. Hope may be in there. Or... Uh, you might just get wet. Well, let's find out. This was just a screen to protect an image. Look, look at the image projected on the screen of the water. This is so cool. First time I saw this. This place is so weird, but I kind of dig it. 
And look at the... Oh, hey, the, it's Jolene. Even the crystal itself looks almost liquid. Yeah. Yeah, you remember this cutscene. There goes the materia. And we can see it is glowing a pale green. Dink. Dink. Sploosh. There we go. Once more, just to make it clear, it is in fact glowing Mako green. Lifestream green. My favorite color. It's glowing. Oh, <laughs> that's pale green! Remember, we talked about that. Jolene. Jolene has already prayed for Holy. After I gave up the Black Materia to Sephiroth, Jolene's words came into my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth. And to do that, there was a secret here. That was Holy. That's why she had the White Materia. Jolene knew about here and what she had to do. She's left us great hope. But it cost her life. Her future. I'm sorry, Jolene. I should have figured this out sooner. You left without saying a word. It was all so sudden. I couldn't think. That's why it took so long for me to find out. But Jolene. 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 Uh. <laughs> I understand now. Do you? Jolene. I'll do the rest. I think you've done enough. You cuss! It's we! We! What Jolene left us, we shouldn't waste. Thank you, Jolene. For not taking my man. <laughs> Jolene's voice has already reached the planet. Just look at the glow of the white materia. But how about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? <laughs> Something's getting in its way! Him. He's the only one that could do it. Sephiroth, where are you? I mean, we know where he is. Well, you coming along, Vugenhagen, or... Nope. Okay. Alright then. Well, I'm leaving. That's a cool scene, though. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. I like the whole mechanism and everything. Oh, getting a phone call. Hold getting on, guys. Call. Pause game. One second, we have to take this. What the? <laughs> I like to think there that he... he's he's. It's not that he's getting a call, like, at all. It's more like he can't believe that he gets service in the City of the Ancients. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? Uh, you remember when the Junon Cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it. Moved it? That big thing? W where? Why? Rufus wants to destroy Sephiroth with it. That cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plan. So since the cannon's useless right now, he decided to move it. To a place where materia... No, where Mako is gathered. Where's that? The moon. Back up, guys. We're going to the moon. Nope. Remember what you said earlier? Oh. Where is more Mako gathered than anywhere? Of course. Over here in Midgar. Shinra Central. Well. Hmm. They were just going to load it with huge materia ammo. Now, the cannon has been hooked up to the world's largest system of multiple giant Mako reactors. Oof. Reeve, it's your job to adjust the reactor's output. I see. <laughs> 
Uh, don't worry about adjusting it, Reeve. Once you open it up all the way, everything will go full speed. I hate this lady. <laughs> a slightly large gun. Yeah, only very slightly, It's though. just a very slightly large gun. Not compensating for anything at no, all. No, it's totally okay. <laughs> the president should have done it this time. The whole idea that Meteor will disappear if we defeat Sephiroth is all wrong. If you remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fire Mako-powered shells. Will the shells really reach the northern border? <laughs> of course. And Mr. President, let's not call it a Mako cannon. This new weapon is called... The Sister Ray. Is it? It is now. Actually, you'll remember there is a translation error earlier in the game. Uh, when the Junon canon was first referred to, they have once already called it the Sister Ray. And I mentioned at the time, and y'all who are, might just be joining us can go back and check the YouTube playlist. Oh, yeah. uh, you will see that I didn't want to spoil things at the time, but I said that uh, they call it that later in the game for a reason. Well, this is it. Ah, okay. But why call it that at all? Well, because it's a giant anime gun. You have to give it a cool name. The Sister Ray? Now, why they chose that specific name, or why that was the translation, I'm not 100% sure. I can't actually tell you. I don't know if that's inspired by, perhaps, they're thinking of it as... Like Midgar being a sister city to Junon, uh, so the only... or it's like the big sister of the original version of the canon because they've upgraded it. I don't know. The first thing that comes to my mind, anything sister related to Final Fantasy, is the Mega Sisters. But I don't. Who are of course like Sir oh, not appearing in uh... this film. Oh yeah. <laughs> Surprise. What's happening? Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm kind of worried about it. Don't worry about it. Where are we going, game? What the heck? Ooh, it's angry. Oh, he's an angry boy. That's not Emerald Weapon. That is not Emerald Weapon. Oh, he's slow, too. Remember, there's one we haven't seen. Is this... Uh, Sapphire, Emerald, we've seen Ruby, we've seen... Diamond. Diamond weapon. Had to go through the ball. <laughs> What's wrong? It's a strange signal. Sir! <laughs> well, from where? It's coming from this... person? <laughs> wow. Hey! Sorry. Uh, that was a surprise. Um, the, uh, the controls went a little crazy. Uh, this ain't good. Uh, weapon came out of the sea and is heading straight for Midgar. The new weapon should stop him, right? I, I don't know if it's ready or not. And what's gonna happen to Marlene? Oh, don't you worry, none. <laughs> Marlene's in a safe place. She's with Jolene's mama. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Barrett. <laughs> what was that scratching just now? Look, as, as long as Marlene's safe, who cares what else happens, right? I, I've been itching to say this to you for a while now. When you blew up the Sector 1 reactor, how many do you think died? That was for the life of the planet. You gotta expect a few casualties. A few? What do you mean, a few? What may be a few to you is everything to those who died. Protect the planet? Huh. Uh, that sure sounds good. 
No one will go against you, so you think you can do whatever you want, right? I don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Stop it. Yeah, this really isn't the time, guys. Cat Ted. Barrett knows what he did. What we did in Midgar can't be forgotten no matter what the reason. Right? We haven't forgotten. Right? I know you. You can't quit the company because you're worried about the people in Midgar, right? Clow? Okay. Let's go. We'll beat Weapon ourselves. Uh, hey, Clow. You, uh, think we got a chance against that monster? Like, we can win, right? Well, how would I know? That's no reason for us to just let him go. We're going to Midgar to fight Weapon. Come on, let's move. Alright, you may want to duck in and uh, save it. Yeah. Because the thing is, Weapon is actually on the move on the overworld map, and you will have to beat it to Midgar. Oh. Well. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> That's not great. No, it's fine. You just want to make sure that you save your progress in case something happens. I'm sure you don't have to worry. I'm worried. <laughs> You've already got your materia done up. Everybody has their equipment on. You should be good to go. Yeah, I've got... Unless I wanted to switch out Dick for Barith or somebody else, I'm good, I guess. All right. Then let's hit it and get it. South. Okay. Heel Heavy down. turn. Go. Midgar's over there. Counterclockwise. Okay, here I am. You go and just land right over there on the beach. Yep, See? there it is. You can kind of hang out and, you know, just watch. You'll have to wait for it. Well, here it comes. Yep. <laughs> Any second now. Oh, it's okay, honey. Walking's fine. <laughs> Walking's fine, honey. Any second. You know, we could have used this time to, like, evacuate Midgar or something. Or something. Any second now. <laughs> Very soon Should now. I... Maybe go, like, over onto the beach? I mean, or... you do want to intercept it, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's coming over here, so... Yeah, it's, you know... You can also save it again right here if you want, or... No, if you're on I, the I, world map, I or... think it's okay right now. I'm just trying to find something useful to do with all this time. Like, I don't want to give you the false impression that you do have to beat Weapon to Midgar, but, I mean, you don't really have to, like beat weapon to midgar so how are you guys doing everybody got their christmas shopping done any <laughs> snow for anybody um hmm All I oh hey looks like he's here okay see you turn into a giant weapon <laughs> a giant okay. weapon okay all right oh god you know what to do Big money. Oh yeah, let's try let's this try new out Hades. summon. It is time to smashy smashy. Bring out the big guns, Dick. Here we go. Diamond's too fat. I can't see. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be blocked by the boss, actually. This is hilarious. Well, Love and, this camera angle. And that's Hades, guys. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there you go. It's not going to inflict a whole lot of status effects. I mean, I didn't expect because, it Because, of course, to. it's weapon, so...
Ooh, that did nothing. Yeah. What? Yeah. What about Ultima then? <laughs> Is that gonna do anything? That should indeed do something. Because remember, Diamond is the hardest substance known to man. Oh, that means that all physical attacks aren't going to do anything to it, right? There I'm you gonna go. have to kill it with magic. It is immune to physical attacks. You do have to kill it with magic. Fui! <laughs> Tui. Like, yeah, every time he does that, it's just patui. Now, ironically, uh, limit breaks actually work. Hmm. Because, of course, they're limit breaks. Hope you're all ready to see a whole lot of special effects go off on the screen all day. Mako nuke. And make sure that you do keep your barrier up. Watch it, and when it gets low, be sure to cast, uh... Right, of course. Big guard again. I wish I could just turn him into a frog. That would be great. Boom. Oh, looks like Dick needs to use uh, yeah. Magic Hammer. Yeah, he sure does. But it's a good thing you've got that, though. Free ethers. I love how it's so big, like, you can't even see the special effects. Indeed, thank you. Yes, Curse Sarlacc and also Diamond Weapon. Oh, did I win? Yep. Oh, yay! Oh, my goodness. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Oof. Oh my. So much stuff. Yeah, and <laughs> you're actually going to have to check your inventory. Ooh. You may be getting up, like, edging up to having too much materia. Never have too much materia. Well, we'll explain that in a moment. Diamond Weapon's just like, I'm done with you. Yeah, you guys are mean. I'm out. I'm going home. I don't want to play anymore. Cloud's like, he's taking his ball and going home. <laughs> What's wrong? You're blowing us off? No, it's feeling something. Yeah. It senses murder. Who died? Uh, let's go to the airship. Yeah, I don't want to be as close to this thing as I am right now. Man, dim boots, though. <laughs> Those boots were made for walking. <laughs> Uh, something, something big. I, I'm talking really big's coming. <laughs> Mr. President, preparations for Sister A are now underway. <laughs> uh, Any time is fine. Fire. This is one of my favorite cutscenes. I'm excited. Big money, no whammies. Fire the big anime gun, please. Watch this. Boom. Two. Three. Four. Should be counting down. <laughs> Two. One. There we go. Of course, not counting the two that have been blown up. Yeah. There's only six left. Gotta do the triple shot. Oh shoot, it blew the windows out. Does this thing have rocket launchers? It's about to do an attack called Diamond Flash, which it actually did not use on you in the thank, battle. Thank goodness, because it looks bad. 
Which direction is it going to attack? Midgar. Marlene. Marlene. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. The shots going past each other. It's so cool. And the high wind circling in the background. I love this. Please don't notice us. Ooh. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Boom. Damn. It went right through weapon. I see. They're after Sephiroth, the crater on the northern boundary. Yep, here we go. That shot is still going. Hey, it worked! So they literally shot the planet at Sephiroth. <laughs> sir, weapon's been defeated, sir! The barrier's disappeared, sir! Sir! Also, uh, a mass of high-density energy is heading towards Midgar, sir. Well. <sighs> Shit. Bye, Rufus. Wait, did he just teleport? No, he, like, turns and, like, oh. crouches. Like, it's an instinctive kind of, like... Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, turning away, covering his face, shielding his body. Now, of course, um, Rufus does not appear again in this game. Uh, but we all know he does survive because he shows up in Advent Children. Uh... So he does make it. But it's okay because this experience kind of turns him into an anti-hero. Mm. And uh, he becomes a good guy. So he's still an asshole, to be clear. Uh, but he does technically become a good guy. Just one of those good guys that you love to hate. Uh, yeah. okay, I guess. What happened to Sephiroth? In the Northern Cave. Let's go see what happened to it. Oh, right now? Yep, right now. Okay. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oh, he's leveled he's up level again. <laughs> he got three levels from that. <laughs> Yeah, kind of an anti-good guy, an anti-hero. Now, let's a, see. A non-villain. Is there anywhere for me to land around here? There you go. Just fly right in. Oh, okay. There you go. Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Dick, can the airship get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's my pilot, ain't he? Of course, he can go anywhere. Uh, right. Sorry about that. Yo, Cat Ted. Now what? Hold it. Scarlet. Heidegger, what's going on? Of course, that's Reeve talking, but, like, it's... The robot, is, I'm assuming, still has the translator. You know, <laughs> it's got the, the Cat Ted voice folder. Strange, I cannot reach the president. I mean, you all saw those shots, right? No, I was looking the other way. <laughs> Not the president. Not the president. To Sister Ray. <laughs> oh, what is it, Reeve? You're speaking strangely. None of that matters. The reactor's output is increasing all by itself. Wait a minute. That's not wise. It must cool for three hours or it won't work. Reeve, shut off the machine. We can't do that. It's inoperable. Uh. Someone has switched the machine over to mainframe operations, sir! We can't operate it from here, sir! What about the mainframe? 
Who? I call the mainframe. Huh? Wait a minute. Why are you giving the orders? I don't care how you do it. That was a weird line, but okay. Yeah, I think there's a translation thing there. Like, he's supposed to say, like, just turn it off or something. And, like of that. course, it's this greasy mother... <laughs> just you wait, Sephiroth. <laughs> I'll give you all the Mako you want. Hojo, stop. The, the cannon. The Midgar itself is in danger. <laughs> One or two Midgars. It's a small price to pay. Hojo. Hojo. Hojo! <laughs> Show me, Sephiroth. It should be near. <laughs> Go beyond the powers of science. Before your presence, science is powerless. I don't like it, but I'll comply. Just let me see it. God, I really hate this man. Yo, do something, you big cat. We're sunk. Hojo's doing this on his own. Huh? I don't like this. You're busted, Reeve. Too late trying to hide it now. Can't you stop the Mako reactor? We can't stop it. Now you from Shinra, ain't you? So why is it impossible? Uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we came a long way to get here. You better not double cross us now. Oh God, please don't do that again. I can't make you trust me. You damn fool, don't you understand anything I'm saying? I don't give a damn about Shinra. Uh, if you're a man, no, if you're a human being, you'll save the planet. Don't you even care? No way. If we shut down the reactor, all hell will break loose. Why? Can't you just shut off the valve? Uh, well, yeah, oh, it's easy to shut off the reactor's pipe valves. But the reactor made a path for the energy to escape from below. Once you open that, it'll be impossible to close it until everything blasts out. We can't try to stop the energy from gushing out. An explosion. This blast will be way stronger than when Sector 1 reactor blew up. Damn. Forget that, the cannon. We've got to get to Midgar, that's the first thing must stop Hojo first. Alright, you have your objective. Looks like Clow and the others are on their way. Stay out of the way. <laughs> don't be foolish. I don't remember anyone putting you in charge. The Peace Preservation Force will do their best to beat the enemy. Because of them, I... I... That's a private matter. Hmm. The president is dead. Now I'm doing things my way. Ah! <laughs> Heidegger, I'm gonna use the new weapon. They arrest the only man with sense. Hey, wait! Clow, everybody. <sighs> Sorry. But. 
but 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 you'll come, won't you? I know. Hey. I'm leaving the ship in your hands. I'm heading for Midgar, sir. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, time to save Midgar. Indeed. New back down south. Making my way down south. <laughs> okay, now. Um, so. 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 Uh, now you have the option to enter Midgar a couple of different ways. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm hmm. So, um, you can, of course, just like fly over Midgar and basically parachute down into it. Oh, that's fun. Yep, and that is going to uh, advance the main story. Okay. Okay. So, you can also head back into Midgar using that key you found by just walking up to it. And if you want to do that, that will give you the opportunity to go back and do things like visit Wall Market before you do this. That probably is a good idea to do, right? Uh, you will be able to go back again if you want to, so you can do these in either order. This is not a thing where, like, if you don't go back now, um, you won't be able to use the key anymore. Hmm. So you can go ahead, if you want to just push MSQ forward, you know, for the action, because we're on a roll, then, you know. Uh, well, I have played uh, the original Final Fantasy VII, and of course the remake is out as well. Uh, but Pixel here has never played the original Final Fantasy VII. This is his first playthrough. Yep, I have not played any other Final Fantasy VII. This is it, yep. really. So if you are just joining us, this is it's not quite a blind playthrough for him, but it is a first-time playthrough. Yeah, because I mean, this, this game is popular enough that if you game at all, you know something yep. about it. So, I mean, I know a few things, but I have not experienced anything. Check that out. The sprite has changed on the yeah, world. Yeah, it's got the big gun on yeah, it Yeah, you can now. actually see the gun. So, we're going to parachute in, mm -hmm. and we'll come back and do Wall Market later. Head for it, then. There you go. Uh, I did play a little Dirge of Cerberus, but not, not really much, yeah. all of it. I have played all of them, including the phone game. So yeah, I have not Crisis Core before Crisis, the mobile snowboarding app, <laughs> the remake. I I am a Final Fantasy VII um, mm, uh, addict, perhaps is the correct word. Yeah, I'd say that's a good word for it. <laughs> Maybe not a nerd. Anyway, all right, we've reached Midgar, sir. Sir, even if we get there, Midgar's under martial law. There'll be no way we could slip into the slums. See, so he's telling you, like... Right. Now, actually, you can because you have the key. But what he's telling you here is that, you know, like, the gates down underneath the pie plate is going to be locked. Right. Looks like all transportation from the slums is cut off. Oh, Omega does not appear in this game, so... Hey, hey, what do you think we have Highwind for? Where are we now? Well, where are we? If land's no go, we'll go by air. Okay then. We'll parachute into Midgar. Alright. Yeah, not all of the weapons appear in the original Final Fantasy. You have to play some of the other, like, spin-off games in order to get the the full picture of the whole weapon situation, which I think is neat. Um, like, it gives you a reason to play stuff like Dirge of Cerberus and so on. Alright. So, do you want to go in with the party you have? Uh, right now we've got Texas and Dick. Mm-hmm. Mm, I feel like we should take Barith with us into Midgar. It is up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That feels right. Oh, well, you want to choose yes then. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Don't just be careful. Now, um, let's mm. see. Oh, his. Uh, it's not gonna let me do the thing, is it? I don't know. 
Hit cancel and let's see. Mm. Well, you you should be able to change again later. It'll be all Cause right. Because you can use PHS at a save point. Yeah. So. For now. All right, here we go. Geronimo! There everybody goes, and you're treated to another cutscene. All right, I love these. Yeah, the cutscenes in this game were great at the time. And I mean, they still are. There goes everybody. Look at Red 13 up there. <laughs> With his little backpack parachute on. There you go. And nobody saw that. Nope. Nobody saw. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> Heidegg is going after Heidegg is going after you all. That's why it's dangerous out there. Let's go underground. All right. Follow the bouncing cat. Indeed. All right, and you got a save point. Oh my god, this place smells gross. Let's get this over with. So it was Hojo, who stirred up all this commotion after all these years. Indeed. <laughs> Tempted to make you do all the voices. So here we go, and this is where, if you do want to change party members, you can do it here and make sure that you, like, actually take their material off and that kind of thing. Right. So if you uh, want Barith, now's the time. If you're happy with it, then just go on. I guess it's okay. All right. may sound strange coming from me, but it feels good being back in Midgar. Kind of makes me sick. <laughs> Get that. I have an old score to settle with, Hojo. So, let's go. This is where we go in. Please, hurry to the Mako Cannon. Whoop, and he's gone. All right, here we go. Get in, baby. And the first thing you notice is a treasure chest on the other ah, side of the room. Give it to me. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. Ah, let's see. Oh no, there's oh, more. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's <sighs> everywhere. Okay. Enjoy. You can kind of see this is you know what this room reminds me of is that room in Turtle Rock Ooh. in Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Oh. Um where it has all of the pipes that you go through that come out on different little islands and you have to go from like Pipe A to B to C to, you know, whatever in, in a specific order to get to certain places in the dungeon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I do actually remember that. Ooh, an eight-inch cannon, huh? Mm-hmm. For Barrett, no doubt. Uh, I actually don't remember. Ooh, Mega Elixir, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it does. Right. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. These guys. A oh, guy, apparently. Mm-hmm. If they don't pop up, then, you know. It's fine. Can ah, dang it. So close. We need to get that enemy away, Materia. On the one hand, if I did that, I would never get any money or anything. But on the other hand, there are just so many random encounters. No, it's fine. They happen so often. No, it's fine. At least I'm strong enough that I don't really have to worry about the enemies. 
Okay, now here, yeah, go that way yeah, first. Yeah, I almost missed this. Because there's a section in here where um, the floor is going to break and you can't go back after that. Oh, Lord, okay. So, like, yeah. Well, where do I go then? Um, let's see. Yeah, I know I've been doing some of that, like, off camera, cause, Lord. Yeah. If you head back the other way, there's another ramp. See there? There's some. There's another set of stairs. Okay. Yeah, I see. You want to make sure to get all of the uh, all of the stuff in this area because there's some good crap. I love me some good loot. Yeah, you definitely do, especially because uh, one of the items in this dungeon is a, a an absolute like do not miss item. A must have. A must have. Hey, awesome right, contain. contain. Love, love. love it. Love to see it. Okay, down here. There you go. Got to go down to go up. Just like sometimes you got to get up to get down, you know? Okay, and then I just circle around to the left there. There you go. Okay. You got it. Hmm. Game got all shaky for a second. Mm-hmm. It's letting you know that the floor is going to break. <laughs> but that's all right. You got this. Ah, oh, back oh attack. No. no. Gross. Dislike. Got to get up to get down. You got to. <laughs> you got to get. You got to get up gotta get up to get down at least i don't have to worry about being uh in some kind of encounter on the fucking ladder could you imagine <sighs> could you imagine if you were climbing ladders and there were just random encounters snake eater no nah, not nearly that long no but that is about the longest ladder in the game though i think an Ooh. igus armlet congratulations nice I'm not putting that on right now. I just need to cure. There you go. Actually, if you want to check it out, I mean, it's a good piece of equipment. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yes, goodies. Indeed. I love goodies. I love that people just randomly leave really nice and important equipment just laying around for me to find. Right? Isn't it great? One of my favorite things. <laughs> As I often say, free is my favorite flavor. It's true. Nothing. Ah. I was gonna say nothing over there, but oh no, there is a big thing over there. There's a big old boy. Oh goodness. Ooh. A chonky, non friend shaped boy. No, you can go away now. Yes, you cannot pet this dog. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Uh, he pets too hard. There you go. Finally, an appearance of the uh, the classic behemoth enemy. This is where you first start seeing those. I, was, I always thought behemoth would be an enemy, honestly. I gotta heal again. You mean a summon? No. Oh, no, I meant a boss. A bo oh, you mean like a big enemy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I just said enemy, didn't I? Yes, you did. I was like, he was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, you, you were right. Ah! Well, that's okay. You've got the other one, so. This thing again. See, there actually are three in the battle, but if they're not popped up, they don't count. So if their manholes are still closed when you kill any of the other ones, like, then it, the battle counts as being over. Oh, they, they didn't actually... Yeah, see? Because they're not technically in the battle. They don't actually exist until they open their manhole covers. Oh, okay. Man. I... Lord All right, mercy. you're mastering all of these restore materia. That's great. Yeah, here at the end of the game. That's wonderful. Yeah, well, that's about when it's going to start to happen. I guess know? that's fair, yeah. Dude, what I love the most is climbing ladders in this game. Right. Riveting. <laughs> 
enthralling, dynamic, gameplay, action. <laughs> and in the background, very quietly, Snake Eater. Because you, you can't not at this point. So many ladders. All right, into the duct. There you go. Ah, there's the thing. Gimme. Ooh, starlight phone. Yep, that is another weapon for Ketev. There's not a huge variety of enemies in here, but I like the designs of the ones that they have. Because, of course, we saw a palette swap of those, like, rotary machines earlier. Yeah. Uh, back when we were in, like, Shinra headquarters. And the design is just kind of cool. Like, they're on that gyro ball, but with the spinning blades and stuff. I mean, it's a silly anime design, but... Hey, it's a really... But I love it. It's a it. good robot design. I like it. Okay, now you probably... I think you want to go upstairs first. Yeah. Before you jump down into that vent. Okay. Because there's another treasure chest up there. Oh, well, then that's all you needed to say. Um, I believe. Okay, Are no, you uh, sure? Because uh, this is a save point. You have to jump onto the ladder. Oh, no, okay, no, you do have to go down first, and uh, then it takes you to the ladder. There okay. we go. Okay. Sorry, I had it backwards. You did, but it's My okay. Bad. I forgive you. Oh, <laughs> so generous. Time to beat up another dog. Like a behemoth to a flame. Really? Listen. I'm listening. I do what I want. I know. <laughs> to the detriment of us all. Oh, goodness. Now, there are no other items over there on that platform. Uh, this just exists so that you can jump down and leap into that vent. And then it's it's basically just a pallet swap of a ladder. There you go. See? Woot. Somehow you're going to climb vertically up that whole thing and come out here. We're going to do the spider thing. I guess. But you get a scene transition because I, even the people who made the ladders here thought that that would take too long. Uh, another back attack. Ow, rude. He's just helping you turn around. He just wants you to notice him. <laughs> Honestly, the thing that I hate most about back attacks is less that they get a surprise round on you and more that it messes up your um, party order. <laughs> like who's in the front row and the back row. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's on it tonight. Yes, absolutely. Notice me, senpai. A max ray. A max ray. Is is that a Barith gun? Uh, the max ray uh, is indeed a Barith gun. Okay. That is one of his better weapons. Ah, uh, but not his best weapon. Correct. It has pretty high attack. Um, the critical rate is pretty decent, and I think, if I remember correctly, I think it has like, uh, like six materia slots that are linked, which is not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Most importantly, it's a long range weapon. And not one of his melee weapons, thank goodness. But don't worry, you're gonna get an even better weapon for him here in Midgar. Oh yeah? Is that gonna be soon? Very soon, yes, it is coming up. Hmm. You don't want to miss it because you only have one chance to do this whole dungeon. Oh. This this is a place where you cannot come back. Hey! hey all right. Okay, now real quick. Yeah? Open up and check your materia inventory. Just click down and let's just see. Okay, how many have you got? I mean, a bunch. Yeah, okay, now I think you're doing okay, but we're going to have to start paying attention. Okay, you know, you're, you're good, you're good. So I mentioned this earlier. You're actually only allowed to um, carry a certain number of materia. You do have a limited inventory. I think materia. I remember you saying that like way back at I, the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I think I mentioned it way back at the beginning, um, and that is because it's supposed to be, like the, the way that they explain it is... Um, 
you're trying to help the planet, not hurt it, so you have to strike a balance between using enough materia because it's necessary to access magic and stuff like that to help you through and, and succeed in your mission versus using too much so that you're hurting the planet. Because, right. of course, materia is Mako energy that's been stolen from the planet. Right. Um, so you can only carry a certain amount of materia because more than that represents that, you know, you're hurting the planet. Okay. Okay, I kind of remember this. This is the train, uh, not the station, but uh, mm -hmm. the railways. Yep. Ooh, now, should I have gone this way or should I have gone the other way? Um, mm. Well, you can go both ways. So here's the thing. Yeah? You do want to do that. Go both ways? Yes. Just like me, you want to go both ways. Because... <laughs> um, what you need to do is... Remember I told you there was a couple of really important, like, do not miss items here? Yeah. One of them's here in the train tunnels. Okay. So, um... Go ahead and head back that direction to the other screen. Okay. And head up here? Oh! Oh no, they're here. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, Elena. What are we gonna do? I think we can ignore our orders now. Is the whole gang here? Elena, don't act so weak. Yep, the whole gang. We're Turks, Elena. Yes, sir. You're right. Come on. We've got work to do. <sighs> I'm not really up for it, but... Our orders were to seek you out and... Kill. Our company may be in turmoil, but an order's an order. Blech. That's the spirit of the Turks. Believe it! Okay, Naruto. <laughs> Clow is not impressed. He's, oh, I mean, we've Lord. beaten these guys so many times now. They're like Team Rocket. Just, uh, what are you doing? Let's go. <laughs> uh, if I say no, let's not, do I just let them go? Or should I fight them? Um, well, you should fight them. I should fight them? You should fight them. Okay. Um, now, I don't actually remember if you say no, let's not... I actually don't remember what happens. Do I have to fight them anyway, or is it a thou must scenario? Uh, I mean, I think you do have to fight them. Okay. I just don't know if it's a question of, like, if you say no, let's not, if, like, they'll, it gives you a minute to change your materia and stuff around before it forces you to kind of thing. Um, because the only thing that I'm concerned about here is that each of them is carrying a pretty decent item and you don't have your steel material on. Oh. Uh, but it's also not, like, absolutely necessary that you have to get them. So if you want to just go ahead and pound them, like, it's not going to break the game. Okay. All right, well, let's just beat these guys up again for, like, the hundredth time. I think if you walk away... Um, they actually do maybe let you go, but I can't recall, because I always fight them. <laughs> I know we have a weird relationship, but uh, we have to end this like Turks. Oh, here we go. All right. Here we go. The first. This is the first time that you're uh, actually fighting Elena. Yeah. You've not gotten to see her in battle yet. Ow! Yep. Because, I mean, remember, Elena is the silly one. But at the same time, all of these people are, uh, you know, rejects from the soldier program. Yeah. So, so I mean, she's still... still tough. Exactly. They are still superhumanly strong and fast and durable. And you're going to want to focus on one of them and take them down. And I would recommend Rude. Yeah, because he's always the one yeah. that cures. Yeah, he so. usually is the healer. So... Um, also, yeah. all three of them are here. This is the perfect place to use something like Hades. Oh, 
Hey, yeah. Because it, first of all, uh, not only are you going to actually get to see it this time, um, but <laughs> uh, it's going to inflict a bunch of nasty status effects on everybody. Let's do that. I love inflicting status effects on my enemies. There we go. Now we actually get, a real get to look see it, it this time. Yep. It's actually a pretty cool summon. It does. It gives them a very bad day. I love his, like, the chandelier. This is over the top, and I love it. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, yeah, you know I'm going to use Neo do you Bahamut. Have, do you have uh, Bahamut Zero on? I do not remember. Oh, I don't think you equipped it. Nope, this is what I got right now. Okay, well. That's alright, you're you're good. You have time to think about your next move, Neo Baham. It's gonna take a minute. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> there he is. There him is. He honestly... He, this version of Bahamut, to me, looks either like a weapon or like um, a, a Genova monster because it looks bioorganic. I see more of a weapon in it than a Genova monster, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I love this animation, though. Yeah, this is that great. Is so cool. Boom. It's very good. And actually, I appreciate, too, um, that this version of the Turks is a serious battle. You know? Right, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, a shiny new limit break. Hey, hit it. Got it. <laughs> oh, somebody, <laughs> somebody's about to have Eat it. a bad time. Ooh. Ooh, a taste of their own medicine. Oh, here's the new one. Nice. Mr. Dolphin's back. Reno, Elena, let's pull out. Oh, they all have their little thing. Like, Reno uh, just kind of, like, fixes his hair and then gives you a, like, flips you off. <laughs> Rude checks his watch and waves goodbye. Elena fixes her makeup and blows you a kiss. Wonderful. I love these guys. They basically are the Final Fantasy Team Rocket, and I love them. They literally are. Well. Okay. Okay. So, now that that fight has happened, so now if you head north, yeah. that's going to take you where you need to go. Ah. Which obviously means... You need to go south. You've got to go the other way. We hate going the way we need to go. So... Yep. This go that way. I was wondering if I should go check the other tunnel. Hello, Barret. Really? <laughs> I can't remember if the other tunnel's blocked off, maybe? Ugh, this thing's weird. There's a weird-looking little guy. Is it a robot? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be some kind of, like, a little turret. It See, looks... like a little, like a spotlight? It looks like a toy. But then it shoots lasers at me. There you go. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that, actually? Since you've got Bahamut Zero, go ahead and put it on in place of Neo Bahamut. All right. Because, first of all, it's more powerful, of course. Uh, second of all, it's even sillier. I love that Zero is in all capitals, by the way. Like, <laughs> they want you to know. Yes, we love Big Bada Boom. It, you, you need to summon Bahamut Zero almost immediately. I mean... Because it's just a good, fun time. Leave this to me. Hurry to the cannon. She's gonna gun down some guys? It's fine. Just keep heading down. Just keep heading down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tack, 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 and summon. Bahamut Zero. Let's see what that looks like. 
You'll love it. Also, I apologize to these robots for what I'm about to do to them. Terra Flare, that's the big one, baby. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Hey, so we're in he's space. out here in space. Remember space? I love that you can hear the satellite beeping. Yeah. He's here. It's your boy, Bahamut. This one looks more like just a dragon. Except for that that nose, though. What, the big spiky nose? Yeah. I like it. It helps him aim. <laughs> Uh-oh. Goodness. Yeah. Orbital Dragon Strike. Good night. <laughs> oh, hey. That was so impressive your material leveled up. <laughs> they are very silly. They're very over-the-top anime, and I appreciate the shit out of that. It makes it entertaining I... because, like, it, they're most of the summons, at least for me, are <sighs> fun enough that I still enjoy using them, you know, even many, many levels ground down into the game. <laughs> Although I also do appreciate what Final Fantasy VIII did, where, because this was the first 3D Final Fantasy game, and they went all out with things like the summons to make them really as impressive as they could. They poured a lot of energy into that. So then, of course, in Final Fantasy VIII, um, they went back to um, the formula from 4 and 6, which makes sense. They were skipping, you know, every even number. So 4, 6, 8. Uh, they made the summons really central and important to the storyline. Um, and, you know, because of how Guardian forces work in Final Fantasy VIII, you can't really get through the game without having GFs junctioned. Right. Um, so they know that you're going to... Um, to see them over and over again, and they give you that option to do the short summon, where you can't boost, but, like, you don't have to watch the whole long animation every time. Hmm. Which is especially great with stuff like Eden and Bahamut, because their summon animations are... long. <laughs> Honestly, I've always loved the, su the summons from all the Final Fantasy games. They've been my favorite part for a lot of them. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people would agree with that, that they are one of the favorites, uh, favorite parts at least. Are we back? It seems like we, we had a small uh, malfunction there. Okay, I think that we're good though. Okay. Ah, of course. Yeah, summoning Eden in Final Fantasy VIII is kind of like um, the final... Um, Oliphant battle in Lord of the Rings The Third Age where at, at one point uh, I actually I think I, I walked away from the game and like made lunch and came back and the game was still going on basically on autopilot good god because it was just a chain of like stuns and counterattacks very unfortunate so that's a game we should play on the channel, you know what? Oh. You know what? Yeah, okay, we could do yeah, that. We should play that because we... I think that we started to play it together at one point uh, and then did not finish it. We did not, no. Uh, so I have played all the way through and beaten it, but you haven't. There's mm. still quite a bit of the game that you have not seen. Yeah, we've gotten... We got pretty far, but... Oh, hey, an item. Yep. Power source. Nice. All right. You know, like just a battery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna have to run all the way back through these tunnels, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why have you done this to me? <laughs> the thing at the end of this tunnel better be worth it. It absolutely is. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, well, I, I think that it is. Mm. In my opinion. I, mm. I believe it to be worth it. Swiftly losing confidence. Well, you'll see once you get there, and then you can judge for yourself. See? Chat knows. Mm, okay, Chad. I trust you. 
I trust I trust starfish too, but I trust chat. There you go. Is this the thing? Nope. Keep uh, going. Okay. Almost there. Oh. Hey, Clifford. I smell it. The cannons. Not this way. Which means I absolutely must go that way. Yep. You're almost there, though. Remember, that was Sector 2, I think. Yep. So you're close. See, look at all these items you would have missed. Now, you would have hated that. That's true. <laughs> Mind source, a magic source, and... A random encounter. A random encounter. My <laughs> favorite thing. Don't you love them? <sighs> I know you can't have the game without them, but... Do you have to have so many? There we go. Nice. Hey! hey love to see it. Lucky. Very lucky indeed. <laughs> Luckier all the time. Ta da! Ooh, new materia. And a save point so that you don't have to do this again. Ta da! Ooh, W item. Yep, so just like with double cut, you equip that and it replaces your normal item command so that you can use two items with a single action. Nice! Do you want to use a tent here? You don't have to. I think you're probably uh, good. But... Hmm. You have several if you want to. But you also have to walk all the way back. I think I'm so. okay. Once you have magic hammer, honestly, it just kind of becomes like it's a grind, but you, you're you're always fine at that point. Right. All right. I don't think there's another screen down that way. I think this is the end. Yeah. Yep, dead end. Dead end. Okay. All right. So now you got to go all the way back. Well, but at least they they clearly mark it for you because remember when you came down into the first um, intersection, there was the electricity crackling over the sign that told you you were at like the sector seven junction. Yeah. Coming out of sector eight. Yeah. So when you see that sign, that's when we will have to make a decision. Well, buckle up, guys. Put on some Benny Hill music or something. Here we <laughs> go again. This is secret Twitch-only content for you loyal followers because <laughs> uh, we will cut this out of the YouTube upload, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah. At least some of it. At least it. some of it. I'm going to have a lot of fun just being like, you know, click one end of this and then scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to try and find the other end so that I can just delete. 25 minutes of footage it's just you running and screaming you know, through <laughs> random encounters for 15 miles of in-game territory there we go i was like what's up little guy those little guys just take their sweet time yeah it's they all just right. take a moment honestly that's why you kill them first they're not more of a threat they just take up more of your time i'm not a speed runner but yeah <laughs> but we we do want to save those frames though <laughs> Wee. Here we go again. Hey, it's all right. You're making good time. Number three. Well done. Almost halfway there. Ah, oh no. Ah, I've got an eyelash in my eye. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Quick, starfish, get it. No, no. I got the controller. Just get the eyelash. It's okay. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> like, that's, that's uh, not going to work. You uh, need to give me the controller and you get the eyelash. No, it's fine. It worked out. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, this is why we play together. <laughs> I don't have to stop playing, and you can help be an extra set of hands. That's, that is very silly. It's like me <laughs> twisting at an unnatural angle, and you with your eyes squint shut, like, <laughs> trying to play desperately when you could just hand me the controller, and, like, I can't find it anyway because it's on the wrong eye. It's just, yeah, teamwork. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen up here is you're going to want to bear right. All right.
You'll see why momentarily. Ah, uh, more of these things. That's all that's down here. It feels like it. Oh no, it got an attack. It's all We're right. not doing enough damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fast enough and I'm not strong enough. <laughs> Enemies are getting turns. Where that strength up materia though? Ooh, is there one of those? Uh, no, I don't actually think that there's like an attack plus material Aww. that I can recall. Oh, well. That's all weapon strength, baby. That's okay. We'll work on that. I will get those ultimate weapons. For sure. Okay, so here's where you want to go right, just like when you went back to fight the Turks. Okay? Right, right. You want to go this way because this one is going to take you to uh, Shinra headquarters. If you go down um, and to the left, it actually takes you to the cannon. Ah, okay. Okay. And of course, that's going to be where the you know the the plot is, the story. Um, but we want to go back to Shinra HQ for a couple of reasons. They got good stuff. They do have some stuff, because uh, I know it's been a while, but try to remember your first trip to Shinra HQ. Oh God, the stairs. Hey, Yoko. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Yeah, so left right there is going to be uh, to the cannon. Right takes you to Shinra HQ. So, you remember, like, the gift shop on the in the lobby? I'm sorry? Oh. He's confused. Yep. Whee! I thought I had hit a button wrong. <laughs> Uh, but you remember the gift shop in the lobby, how there were, like, a couple of treasure chests in there that um, you couldn't open? The the lady at the counter wouldn't let you open them? I do kind of remember that. Well, I do kind of remember being upset that I didn't get to open them. Uh-huh. Well, nobody's going to stop you this time. Nobody's there. That's right. All right. Or even if they are, they don't care. <laughs> Shinra's done. Not everybody knows that yet, Right? Right? Words trickling down, I think. Speaking of trickling down, you know. Please let me get to the end. Thank you. Zero. Zero. Okay, so right here? Mm-hmm. Right around here somewhere. Nope. I mean, this this door is not it. Well, there wasn't anything there. Maybe it's on the left? No, it's not that way. It is to the right. Uh, I mean, there's nothing there, though. Hmm. I'm trying to think if we missed something we shouldn't have. I, chat will defend me. I've been going right this whole time. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think you do need to go left. I think the first left takes you to the cannon, and the second left takes you to Shinra headquarters. So this one. Yes. Yes. Here we go. This I, is. I believe that this is it. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I was like, there should just be a door. Here you go. Yep. Okay. Cool. Ta-da. You even remember this uh, view of Shinra headquarters from before? Yeah. So we got a couple things that we want to run through and grab. And hey, another save point. Oh, Extra large hey! No, oh, no, the sister ray's not this way. That's fine. I'm not here for that. That's, yeah, that's fine. They're just covering all their bases, you know. Right, that's the game going, hey, no, the other direction. So Guys, you, you, you need to so, go away. <laughs> you can't go all the way up this time in the building. Uh huh. But you don't need to. Because, of course, there's the gift shop in the lobby. Right. Um, and then you might remember uh, the gymnasium, the, the employee, like, recreation room or whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay, it was up here, I mm -hmm. think. There you go. Then it was this one? You got it. First try. Awesome. Good memory. And it was these chests. There you go. The pile bunker. 
pile bunker. And the master fist. Ooh, that sounds like a good weapon for Tifa. Mm -hmm. So that is not a very good dick weapon. <laughs> dick weapon. <laughs> you only need to go up one more floor. I'm guessing it was like the... Um... I think it's like if you don't find the spirit lance or something. Mm, right. And you remember up to the uh, top this is way. the locker room. There you go. Yes. And where was I it? think it's in the back row. There you go. HP shout. Yep, the HP shout. That is Ket Ted's ultimate weapon. Oh, is it? Yep, it was right there the whole time. Oh, and, and also Phoenix, Phoenix down. down. Yay! <laughs> All oh, right, head it? for the elevators. Oh, I keep forgetting they're here. Yep, and now you're done here. You can just go right back. Back the way we came. Go all the way back to the first floor. Nice. You can just skip all that stuff in the middle. Oh, good. Ta-da! You can just run out and, I guess, give it another save, and then let's head back into the tunnels. And you should only have of to take a couple of turns. Of course first. <laughs> of course. Yeah, they got to hit you on the way out. Listen here, mall cop. <laughs> oh my god, they kind of are, though. That's exactly what they are. Dude, you annihilated that guy. Wow. I kicked him out of existence. Man. Okay. Paul Blart didn't know what hit him. <laughs> Alright, now I am going to use a tent. There you go. Hey, you bought them for a reason. I sure did. It wasn't just to look at them. <laughs> okay. All right, now just head straight back down the way you came. And all you have to do is go back down one intersection and then take the other left. Right. No left. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Were you waiting for that one? No, I just saw an opportunity and I took it. <laughs> like, you need to take this next left. Uh... Go south one screen and then over. Yoko is there to remind you of the way. Of course. Well, she's gone now. That's fine. All right, now you have a boss battle coming up. Is it a strong one? Uh... Is I it... think that you'll be fine. I mean, you did okay against Diamond Weapon, so let's be real. <laughs> Listen. Chat's got my back. <laughs> let's not confuse the issue any more than it already is. <laughs> it's me. I'm the issue. Hey, hey, all right. Level up all over the place. Man, you love to see it. So yeah, you use that tent at the right time. There we go. Oh, okay. Game's just going to take over then. All right. Yep. Okay, and here I am. Oh. Uh-oh. What's that? This can't be. Hey, hey, hey you serious? I am always confused, chat. What the <laughs> heck? It's me, your favorite character! It better not be Bugenhagen no. inside that mech. That would be funny, though. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> uh, so, they really showed up. That's uh, you guys. Yeah, it's Gyahaha and Kyahaha. These chuckleheads. You sure treated us like dogs till now. Well, I mean... <laughs> you killed many of my precious soldiers. I mean... <laughs> but let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery. Uh, probably pretty good. You guys are worthless. But my proud creation is great. Hmm... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yep. Well, we'll see about that, I guess. Get ready to fight. I'll show you the destructive power of the proud Claude. The what? Claude Strife. It's time time for a little uh, it's time for a little Claude Strife. Uh, God, never let Scarlet name anything. Check it out. It's very bad. This is hmm. I don't like this. It's fine. Hey, a limit break right off the bat. Nice. You love to see it. You love it. Yeah, Klaus Klaus cousin Claude. I can just all I see is Peridot. You Claude's Yeah. That's kinda what I think. Now don't use finishing touch. There of you go. Of course not. Now notice that there are two targets. Yeah. So you'll want to hit that armor in front first. Focus your energy on that. Yep, see the Jamar armor? The Jamar armor, huh? Mm-hmm. Because if Jamar that armor, then uh it will be a lot more vulnerable. Ah, I see. <laughs> Me blend. Boom. Now Hades is not really going to no, help because no, it's a robot. Yeah, but I mean, it's still worth using because it's going to do high damage to both targets. Yeah, that's also good. So I would still recommend using summons. I mean, I love using summons. Now, the main thing about the Proud Claude here that you have to worry about... Yeah. Um, ...is that uh, it has an attack that's called I, something like the Rainbow Ray. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not nearly as, as great as it sounds. But it's the Rainbow Ray... It's got to be great, right? Uh, you would think so, but what it actually does is it will cast Reflect on one of your characters, which means that then you cannot like heal that character normally with spells and abilities mm. uh, because the Reflect will bounce it over to the Proud Claude. Mm. Now, thankfully, you already have Regen on everybody. So, but still, you have to be aware of that. Eat space laser! Oh my goodness, that did a lot of there damage. There you go, very nice. Well. So now, your attacks are going to do significantly more damage to it. See? Well, I do love doing significantly more damage. Mm -hmm. You love to see it. Oh, looks like time for another big guard. Luckily, everyone has it, so. Yep. Let's see what break looks like. You are kicking ass, baby. You've really gotten a handle on this whole thing. Thank you. Now oh, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of yeah, that. Yeah, the the funny camera angles kind of ruined it, but <laughs> it tried. Oop! 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 Ooh. Ultima. Nice. Blend that knee. Blend it. That's actually better than what I thought that attack was going to be. Because <laughs> I thought it was just going to, like, turn into a blender of blades and Ooh, stuff. Wow, that was a really unfortunately placed tornado. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, taint no thing. Oh, what? <laughs> really? <sighs> Listen, how how often are you going to get a chance to make those, like, southern dialect jokes? <laughs> yes. Giving them the green light, the go-ahead to just, to just die. Oh, I didn't oh, get to see hyper jump. Right as hyper jump charged. Oh, no. Hey, oh, my look goodness. at that, though. Contain leveled up Ooh. again. Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, the Ragnarok... I'll explain later. You have voices to do. <laughs> it's okay. The, the Ragnarok's a weapon for Clow. Okay. That's all. No way. 
This is the proud god. Whoa! <laughs> no! And then they exploded. And that's the end of Gyahaha and Kyahaha. Thank goodness. You are finally done with them. When do and I get then, to, when do I get to kill Palmer? It began to rain. I don't know if Palmer might be invincible cuz I thought he was dead after he got hit by that <laughs> truck. And I guess not. So All right, onward and upward. Phew, that was a good fight. Oh my god. Hey. Goodness. Love it when they just give me items. There you go. Mistyle? Mistyle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh goodness, what is this? It kind of looks like the boss um, that caught up to you after the motorcycle chase, right? Kind of. To me. And look, it has all these different oh, targets. Here we go. Here's hyper jump. Yay! Big dragoon oh, dang. jump. That did more damage than I thought it would, just mm -hmm. given its animation. I mean, I know it's a limit break and everything, but... Yeah, but still, sometimes. It, it didn't look like it had the same oomph as throwing a whole stick of dynamite at people. So... <laughs> Good lord. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now, if you... Since you've got a save point here... Yep. If you want to adjust your equipment... Um, mm -hmm. This is a good place to, uh, to take a look at that before you head upwards. Okay. So the mistyle yeah. is a really strong um, equi uh, like armor. Ooh. The Ragnarok, yep, that's another sword upgrade. Yeah, I like that. We'll because put that see, on right it, now. it's stronger than the Heaven's Cloud, but also the slots are linked, so you got your link slots back. Nice. Um, now, what were you saying about the mistyle? Mistyle is armor. Armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's very good armor too. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. So who's got the crummiest armor? Is it... Maybe her? I don't know. Mm. Actually, no? Might be him. Yeah, okay, it's a better upgrade for him. You lose five physical defense, but look at that huge jump in magical defense. It actually looks like it might be Cloud, really. Yeah, no, it kind of is, actually. The thing about the escort guard is that it makes you immune to, like, certain elements. Hmm. So that's... That's what you have to consider, is that he's well, since... currently immune to lightning and poison and water and stuff, so... Um, mm. But it is a big upgrade. I think I'll go ahead and trade that out, honestly, because okay. that defense percentage, like chat said, yeah, man, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll give him the escort guard. Or maybe I'll just leave it the way Yeah, it just is. go for it. Just go for it. <laughs> All right. Oh, almost forgot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, don't forget to save it. Just remember to save your game. Okay. Alright. Now then. Onward. Uh. Up. Uh, no, 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 no. There you go. There. That's what I wanted to do. Hey! This way, Clow! Ta da! Onward, upward, Excelsior! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair game. You can go ahead and punish me for that one. <laughs> oh, actually, um, I just thought of something. Oh? Before you leave this screen, you probably want to go back downstairs to the save point. Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. Because I'm glad I remembered this. So, you remember we were talking about finding a better weapon for Barith? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's coming up. Okay. The thing is, and chat can correct me if I'm mistaken about this, but as I recall, the weapon is not there unless Barith is in your party. I mean, I wanted to trade out to Barith anyway. Right, you were already thinking of it, so this is just an opportunity. Oh, there we go. Lord, I didn't think that thing was ever going to go down. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and trade him out for Dick, 
honestly, that kind of is nice because it puts the original three, like, you know, back in your return to Midgar finalization party. Right. All right, so remember to take everything off of Dick. There you go. All right, let's swap. Now make sure we don't have a better nah. weapon for uh, for Barith. He's using the AM cannon. There's the pile banger. No, instead of pile bunker. It's pile banger pile now. Banger. Uh, but you also have the uh, the max ray. I do have the max ray. Max ray seems better, honestly. Yep. And also, that's a long range weapon too. Right. So yeah. You can give him the crystal bangle or the escort guard. I think I'll give him the escort guard. Cool. And not the hypno crown. Yeah, probably don't want the hypno crown. There, that works. All right. Uh, every time. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, you know that you need an all materia, um, yeah. but not that all materia. You gotta check your stars. I remember. Look for the five star or all materia somewhere. Nope. Because a bunch of the bun like new baby nope. all materia have been born. Nope. They should probably yeah there. Ah you here go. we go. And notice here. See it says to next level zero, but it says AP master. Right. Remember we talked about master materia. A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. So now you're starting to see that. Okay. All right, let's find that five-star restore material. There Here you go. Is. Um, he had revive on as well? I... Or no, he had heal and all. Yeah, he had heal and all. So yeah, heal, and then you'll need another high-level all materia. Which... Might have been that four-star one up at the top. There, there we go. go. Okay. Uh, you know he's got an enemy skill materia. Uh, do you want to do um, added effect in Hades in his uh, armor? That'll block him from status effects. Or protect him that from status effects. That is a really good idea. Yeah. Pop in Hades, and then look for added effects. Where's that added effect? Shouldn't be anything Ooh. below death blow. I don't know if someone else is already using it. I think that it's free. There's nope, added, that's added cut. cut. Steel as well. Okay. Okay, no, now somebody's already it. got somebody's it. Somebody's got it. That's oh, fine. Wow. Well, enemy skill then. You know you're going to need that. Okay. My kingdom for the ability to manipulate, like, sort all the materia. Yeah, you should be able to. I've tried every button in the world. But I know that... Uh, it, it doesn't. It's yeah. just not here. Well, at least you can page up and page down. That's true. All right. Let's see. Should I put where the? Yeah, here we go. The speed plus and the HP plus. Mm -hmm. And I had Comet. Yeah, and I think he had maybe MP Turbo attached to that. No, because oh no, maybe he did. And then you've got more slots than Dick had because he only had four in his weapon. Right. So you've got room for, um, let's see, some more plus materials. Perhaps, or have you got? No, you're no, using them all. No, I'm using them all. They're okay, all Okay, well then here. you got free slots then. Hmm. Up for some suggestions? Uh, you could do steel. Maybe. All right. Steel, and then um, you could do added cut. Oh, hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So that way, if you miss, it's not a wasted turn. Or you can do steel and steel as well. <laughs> and just steal twice. Basically, yeah. <laughs> There's added cut. All That'll right. Work. Okay, let's go for it then. Yep. All right. Running. Okay. Now. Ah, uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Every time. These things are scary. They do a lot of damage. Yeah, you didn't save after you changed, so. Mm. Do you feel do you feel brave? Mm. Do you feel lucky? Or do you want to go back down and do a safety so you don't have to do that? I'm a lucky guy. 
Okay, you do have a boss fight coming up, so. It's fine. All right, well. Man, these things. Boom. Go I, thought, down. I thought that was going to be it. Now, stop that. That's such a nasty attack. Where it just like thumps down on you and then just pulls backward just like up. runs you over. So I can't help but notice that the 8 inch cannon didn't show up in uh, Barrett's weapons. No, it is a consumable item. That's why you've been picking up more than one. Hmm. Hey, Draven. <laughs> Damn. Hoja. Lots of people got, uh, got something to do here mm -hmm. in Midgar. Everybody got a grudge. See, this is the chest. That chest is not there if Barrett's not in the party. Ah, okay. Hey, this is... A missing score? Mm-hmm. This is great. Hold on, Hojo. <laughs> Ooh. I like this. This is Barrett's ultimate weapon. Is it? So notice that like all ultimate weapons except for Aerith's, um, it has eight linked materia slots, mm -hmm. but no AP growth. So AP uh, materia in there will not level up. Hmm. That's the downside. So you may want to hang on to it for later, um, or you may want to go ahead because you've got a boss fight coming up. I do have a boss fight coming up. But your but bosses are also bosses worth a lot, of, you a lot AP. of AP. I think mm -hmm. I'll stick with the max ray for right now. You should be good. Yeah, I, I think, think I'll be, be okay. good. So. Okay. All right. Onward and upward. Also, take a look oh my goodness. at this wonderful enemy. What is this? This is an X cannon, and we love it. It tries very hard. I kind of like this thing. Also, Dig Cloud's new sword. Oh, yeah. Like, that is a big ol' anime sword. Oh, yeah. Are you done? Oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. Get him. Get him. Hurry. <laughs> oh, good. A critical. Uh. <laughs> Are you having fun? Uh. There you oh, go. Oh, thank God. Close call. Phew. <laughs> Don't want that to go off. Nope. Real quick. Okay, boss fight time. No? Oh, soon. Next screen. Very soon. You. You greasy mofo. God, I'm so happy I get to fight you. Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Clow. Every time I see you, it pains me that I had so little scientific sense. I saw you as a failed project, but you're the only one that succeeded as a Sephiroth clone, even though you're not actually a Sephiroth clone. I know it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even beginning to hate myself. None of that matters. Just stop this nonsense. Nonsense. Oh. This? <laughs> Sephiroth seems to be counting on the energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. Why do that? Quit asking me why, you moron. Mm. Actually, mm. you might make a good scientist. 
energy level is at 83%. It's taking too long. My son needs power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? <laughs> but he doesn't know it. <laughs> what will Sephiroth think when he finds out I'm his father? He always looks down on me. <laughs> Sephiroth is your son? <laughs> I offered the woman with my child to Professor Gast's Genova project. When Sephiroth was still in her womb, we took Genova's cells. <laughs> Can't believe you're the one who did this. It's illusionary crime against Sephiroth. <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. <laughs> I was defeated by my drive to become a scientist. I lost the last time, too. I've injected Genova's cells into my own body. <laughs> Here are... <laughs> the results. Man, he crazy. Man! <laughs> he does not look good. No, he looks very sick. But at least you get to beat the crap out of him. You might want to save that for later. Yep, he's gonna summon some monsters. He's this, just got him in Pokeballs. He does, he used a capsule. It's like Dragon Ball tech, you know. But you're gonna wanna kill those, for sure. Ah! Ah! Quit hey, that! Oh no! I've been waiting for this for so long, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yep, you need to attack him, too. Boop. The sense materia is really useful here because, like, you want to, um get these creatures like kind of down to low HP mm -hmm. and then hit them all at once but of course you still have to focus on Hojo because he's just going to summon them over and over again right there you go very nice hit him hard I don't remember if he has anything to steal in this fight. I don't think that he does. So you're safe to do that. But yeah, just keep using multi-target attacks and focus on the Hojo. Can and will do. <laughs> now let's see how the Mako juice is reacting. Gross. Oh. That, mm, yeah, I figured it'd be something. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho. oh my god, that's nasty. He went full Resident Evil. Oh my god. <laughs> and again, see, check that out. He's got multiple pieces, even. Yeah. Terrifying. You stop that. Oh, I was thinking that she had the ribbon on, nope. but no. That's Cloud. Cloud's got it. She had it before, is what I was remembering. Oh, man. Man, that one limb of him just. 
of his didn't, uh... <laughs> he did put the people to sleep -o. Lord. I... I believe that sleep is a... another, like, translation error, because L's and R's, sometimes that happens, um in Japanese to English translations. Oh, so you think it should be sleeper? Yeah, I think it's the sleeper spell. Heletic Hojo. God, this is creepy. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is like a transitional phase, so like you're fighting him while he's changing into this on his way to something else. Oh, he flopped over. Look at that, with his spine sticking out and uh. stuff. Yeah, check this out. There we go, his final form. Well, it's less gross, but... Now is when you're going to want to use Hades. Oh, I better do this first, then. Yep, get your big guard back up. Life form Hojo. Uh, sir? Mm -hmm. Ow. And notice that that activated your shell rather than your barrier, so that technically counts as a magic attack. Weird. Yeah, very weird. Uh, does he have Hades? Uh, he does, but... Uh, you just need a more magic hammer. I need more magic hammer? More magic hammer. You gotta get that good, good magic hammer. Bahamut, I need you! Bahamut, please. You have Bahamut, Neo Bahamut, Bahamut Zero, and Bahamut, please. I need you guys to please come and kill this really bad dad. I like how he, like, stretches all of his wings out in sequence, like solar panels or something. It's like a spaceship shifting parts into position to <laughs> stabilize him for the ray. <laughs> yes. When your powers combine, I will cap the planet. <laughs> Big oof. Goodness, that was a lot of damage. Hit him. Ow. Listen, you. Indeed. You might not need Hades anymore at this rate. You're hitting pretty hard. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get it, either. Hit him with another magic hammer. It didn't... It didn't take anything oh, last time. Oh, okay. Mm. It took a little, but... Oh, well. You'll get him this time, then. Oh, you should put regen on. It wore off. I didn't even notice. I'm working on it. There's so much to do. <laughs> Boom in your nasty face. Ooh. Yes, good. Bye, Die. Joe. Go away. Wait, wait. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. My goodness. Very nice. Very nice. You got almost enough to buy that house in Costa del Sol. <laughs> and that's the end of Hojo. Thank goodness. I can't believe Sephiroth is Hojo's son. That's the end of the canon. Well, actually, it's not the end of the canon. It's only the beginning of the canon because there's some... Like, controversy about whether or not he's actually Vincent's son. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Shenra's finished. And good riddance. Meteor's gonna fall on about. Seven more days. That's what Grandfather said. Clifford, you want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <Was> the... 
<laughs> a long pause. You want to see Marlene, right? Don't ask me that. We'll beat Sephiroth. Then, if we don't release the power of Holy in seven days, there won't be a planet left to protect. Planet calls up on the White Materia. Seven days! <laughs> if we can't beat Sephiroth, it's as good as death for us. We'll just go a few days sooner than the rest will die from Meteor. Don't think you're going to lose before you even fight. No. What I meant was... What are we all fighting for? I want us all to understand that. Save the planet for the future of the planet. Sure, that's all fine. But really, is that how it is? For me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth and settle my past. Saving the planet just happens to be part of that. I've been thinking. I think we all are fighting for ourselves. For ourselves and that someone, something, whatever it is that's important to us. That's what we're fighting for. That's why we keep up this battle for the planet. You're right. It sounds cool saying it's to save the planet. But I was the one who blew up that Mako reactor. Looking back on it now, I can see that wasn't the right way to do things. It made a lot of friends and innocent bystanders suffer. At first it was revenge against Shinra for attacking my town. But now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene, and for Marlene's future. Yeah, I guess I want to save the planet for Marlene's sake. Go and see her. Make sure you're right and come back. All of you. Get off the ship and find out your reasons for yourselves. I want you to make sure. Then I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. Meteor's gonna kill us all anyway. Let's just forget any useless struggling. I know why I'm fighting. I'm fighting to save the planet, and that's that. But besides that, there's something personal, too. A very personal memory that I have. What about you all? I want all of you to find that something within yourselves. If you don't find it, then that's okay, too. You can't fight without a reason, right? So I won't hold it against you if you don't come back. Deep stuff. Yeah, man. And everybody's gone, like, even the crew. Lord. What are you going to do, Texas? Who's flying the ship? It's on autopilot, it's fine. Did you forget? <laughs> I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. Everyone's gone. Yeah, we don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. But I I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't, don't you think? Thank, I mean? <laughs> Surely I mean thank. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Everyone has something irreplaceable they're holding on to. But this time, our opponent... <laughs> That's alright if no one comes back. As long as we're together. With you by my side, I'll never give up, no matter how bad it gets. Texas. Hmm. No matter how close we are now, we were far apart before. But when we were in the life stream surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I thought I heard your voice. You 
You probably don't remember this. Deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought I did. Yeah. I heard you calling me. You were calling me back from the consciousness in the life stream. After all, I promised that if anything ever happened to you, I'd come to help. Clow? Do you think the stars can hear us? You think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I don't know, but... Whether they can or not, we still have to do what we can. And believe in ourselves. Someday we'll find the answer. Right, Texas? That's what I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Texas, I... There were so many things I wanted to say to you. Now that we're together like this, I don't know what to say. I guess nothing's changed at all. Funny, isn't it? No, it's not funny at all, Clow. <laughs> Words aren't the only thing that tell people what you're thinking. Goodness. You can tell we're coming up on the end of the game. It's almost dawn. Huh? Sorry, did I wake you? It's almost dawn, Texas. I love the wind noise. It's just like someone blowing into a microphone. <laughs> oh, good. good morning, Clow. Just a little longer. Five, five more minutes. <laughs> this day will never come again, so let me have this moment. Sure. This might be the last time we'll ever be together. Fade to black. And scene. Got it. Enter everyone. Stage left. <laughs> Look at that Saga Frontier looking sprite over that <laughs> skybox. I love it. I love it. Stimulating conversationalists. <laughs> We'd better go. But, but I still... It'll be alright, Texas. You said so yourself yesterday. At least... We don't have to go on alone. Also, just the two of us are more than powerful enough to punch whole dragons, so... <laughs> like, we still have a fighting chance. That's you're, right. You're right. <laughs> That's very right. That's so correct of you to notice. I, I forgot this is a JRPG, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's go punch those dragons. Yeah, I mean, like, we're technically co-protagonists, so... <laughs> this airship's too big for just the two of us. It's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry. It'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everybody. <laughs> there he goes. Doing the Zack squats. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. Oh? We won't have time to feel lonely. Huh? What in tarnation... It's moving. By itself. It's alive! Oh shit. The boss fight no one no one prepared us for. 
Barreth dick. What? Am my zipper open? Oh my god. Oh, like, oh. Uh, yeah, is that, <laughs> that okay with you? Clifford. Why didn't you tell me? Well, you know, dick. Excuse me? I went to college. Mm. Hey, Clifford. If you butt in now, you never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? Oh my god. Oh my god, y'all were standing up here in the airship watch- Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Draven. I too was watching. <laughs> I watched the longest. <laughs> Why such a puzzled look? Don't you want me to come? No, it's just that you're always so cool. I thought you didn't care. Cool? Well, I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, looky here, the Shimmer Manager's come back. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but... I wanted to come with the main group, but I, I couldn't get away. So, uh, some people in Midgar took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but, uh, I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No. Yoko's missing. Oh, well then that's everyone. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, she ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our damn materia. Thank God for that. Ha! Ah! Oh my God, how could you say that? Because it's the truth. It literally happened. Twice. After I came this far with you? Even with my air sickness? Uh-huh. It didn't go through all of that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Oh, I see. Okay. Nah. Alright, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gee, Cloud, that's so nice of you to say that. Are you sick or something? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserved seat in the hall. <laughs> 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 God, she's the worst. God. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. I came back from Marlene. This is just my... feelings or something. <laughs> I, uh... I ain't got no words now. Although, she's not here. She left us a window of opportunity. We can't let go like this. Jolene. 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 Oh, she was smiling to the end. Can't just let it end with that smile. We have to do something. And there's her theme in the background. Mm -hmm. Let's all go together. Memories of Jolene. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her. Now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Jolene's memory. It's not quite right, but... Yeah. Anyone here change their mind? Counting on you, Dick. Uh, you can always count on Dick. <laughs> Those two levers have been bugging me for a while. I'm gonna pull them. Let me try them out. Self-destruct in three. All right. Two. What should I do? You decide, Clow. This is our last battle. Our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. 
Let's move out. <laughs> oh, yep, see? It's crashing. Oh, you'll love this. Oh, what? Pew. It's a jet? It's been a jet the whole time? It's a transformer. Like you said, let's roll out. Yeah. Lord. It's a Mako powered jet engine. Why haven't we been using this? Almost to the North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. We just have a whole bunch of side content to wrap up, and then we'll be right there. <laughs> 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 I'm sure you will, I'm Dick. Sorry, I can't let this one go by. <laughs> Dick's gonna stick it to it. It's okay. Collect yourself. Ah, now it blows up. What is it, Dick? Uh, uh, some incredible force losing control. Hey, the crew's back. Yay. Hey. Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go home? Yes, sir, sir. But this is our home, sir. Oh, my. Stop trying to act so cool. All right, you jokers, hold me down with everything you got. Geronimo! Sitting Bull! Will my man kill her? Sequoia! <laughs> End of part two. There you go, that's it. Uh, yeah, sure. Always save your game. Well. Hmm. Here we are. Yep. I'm guessing this is the end. It yeah, sure it's, seems uh, like it's it. It's very close. Very close. We are coming up on the end of Final Fantasy VII. We just got to go through the cave and fight uh, Sephiroth, right? Uh, ish. 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 Good animation right there. <laughs> so, here we are at the North Cave, but mm. we're not going to stay here. No? No, we've got shit to do. Oh, yeah, man. We've got we got to go breed some chocobos. Yeah. We've we got, got uh, weapons to fight. We've got, we got weapons to arena. find. Yeah, we got Easter egg bosses. we got gold saucer there's to There's materia you don't have yet. i got to go play the slots, man. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. We haven't been back to Midgar, like to the wall market and stuff. We've got, all, we've got a house to buy. Yeah. you got a house, but you got to research. You've got oh, to no, I've got to buy estate. the house. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, we want to thank you for being with us through this whole episode it has been a ride yeah and, uh, through the series up to this point so um we're gonna call it here and we will be back next monday 7 p.m eastern standard time with another episode of final fantasy 7 we'll look forward to seeing you then we hope that you will look forward to seeing us as well and don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe if you're not already. Hopefully you're having a good enough time to stick around. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to follow and like up the video over there as well. Uh, you can join us live every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday in the same time slot. And uh, you can find all of the videos for all of the games that we played on the channel over there as well. Hit us up on Twitter, on Facebook, on Pillow Fort. Let us know your thoughts. Send us your comments. And we will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII. Until then, as always, thanks for playing. <laughs>